time to say goodbye Harry. Charles gives Mike Tyndall Royal Royal kicked Harry out of Royal forever. Mike Tyndall and Zara Phillips could be the next candidates to join the royal family as Zara is directly connected to Princess Anne. According to Mai Riaz, Mike's career is about to take off after he was a part of the TV show I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here. As he was perceived as a lovable person. The people's impression of Tyndall was that of a cool, calm, and collected person, Mike has clearly had to have all sorts of permission to get on I'm a Celebrity. There's no denying his celebrity career will propel from here. He could be taking on presenting roles as a guest presenter for BBC's The One Show. Riaz commented. Some believe that King Charles III could bestow an important royal role on Tyndall after being in the jungle. According to Greg Double who is a celebrity expert and also the director of MHP Group, not since the 2003 World Cup has Mike Tyndall performed so well in Australia. He may be off limits to commercial brands, but his popularity could be hugely helpful to the royal brand. Greg continued King Charles has often spoken about a slimmed down royal operation, but could his burly nephew in law be providing a compelling case for a slightly broader royal family? The expert elaborated he is distant enough that any misstep wouldn't hurt the firm but close enough that he, and indeed the likable Zara, could fill the normal one's role that was so spectacularly abandoned by Harry and Meghan. Building his royal profile in the ITV show I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, is Mike Tyndall, who is married to Princess Sans daughter Zara Phillips. Mike has impressed on the show with many viewers loving his calm and cool nature. It is now believed that King Charles III could give Mike an important royal role after his time in the jungle. Celebrity expert and director of MHP Group, Greg Double said that Mike and Zara could replace Meghan and Harry, after they stepped down as working royals, OK. Reports. Greg said, not since the 2003 World Cup has Mike Tyndall performed so well in Australia. He may be off limits to commercial brands but his popularity could be hugely helpful to the royal brand. Making history as the first member of the royal family, through marriage, to appear on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, you may recognize Mike Tyndall from a number of places. He was part of England's winning team during the 2003 Rugby World Cup and of course, he's married to Zara Tyndall, who is Princess Sand's only daughter. While his fellow campmate, Boy George, is suspected to be the highest paid contestant, Tyndall is reportedly among the wealthiest members to take part in the reality show. But how exactly does the 44-year-old make his money and what is his net worth? Tyndall played rugby professionally for 17 years, making over 75 appearances for England in this period. The Royal retired from the sport in 2014, but he was famously part of the 2003 winning team that set him up for several lucrative offers to follow during his retirement. While it is unclear exactly how much money Tyndall made for each game, figures released in the Premiership Rugby Salary Cap Report for 2020-2021 revealed that players can earn up to £167,779 a year and players with more than 50 international caps can earn up to £325,306 a year. Soon after his retirement, Tyndall became part of the coaching staff at his former club, Gloucester, where he reportedly made between £100,000 and £200,000 annually, for the Mirror. On top of this, the ex-player also gets booked to deliver several speeches on the sport at formal dinner events for which he reportedly gets paid in the thousands for. Along with his wife, Tyndall has a long list of brand partnerships to his name. While some are tied to his sporting career or Zara's work as an equestrian, the big money makers all seem to be lifestyle collaborations. The couple have partnered with luxury brands like Rolex, Land Rover, and Artemis that reportedly bring in over a million per year. The Daily Mail also reports that Zara also has a highly profitable partnership with Musto that is said to be worth £1.55 million. Pounds. Additionally, Tyndall features in adverts for Amazon Prime and Domino's, for which he is reportedly paid to the tune of £150,000 and £300,000 respectively. 300